So guys, you're working on optimizing your website page speed for core vitals. Uh, you want your website obviously to be as fast as possible. And whether you're a web developer or a website owner, you probably read on online or on Google just saying that Google's prioritizing website speed for SEO and for traffic. And if you think about it anyway, you want to have the fastest website possible. So you're optimizing for core vitals and you're hitting this one issue. Core vitals says that you need to minimize your main thread work, right? And if you're going to minimize your main thread work, it has to compress or accelerate or just kind of like streamline how your JavaScript is being executed. You have your JavaScript evaluation, styling, layout, execution. And so all of those things add up and can add to what's called that main thread work. And so there's a lot of things that slow that down. I'm gonna go into this video in terms of what doesn't work, what does work, uh, and, and what you can do to solve this issue. And also what we found is really a useful way to solve it without actually adding negative aspects to your website as well. So we're gonna show you how to solve um, minimizing that main thread work today. And it is possible to get that 100% score on your core vitals. So my name is Chad Agarwal. I'm the owner of Perfect Clicks LLC. If you are interested in working with us or if you'd like us to take a look at your site, uh, just email us at info at perfectclicks.com or call us at 844-4-CLICKS. Uh, we do have support packages and marketing packages available, but let's jump right into the video. Let us know if you need any help. All right, guys. So as you can see here, we've optimized this site pretty close to getting that 100% um, performance score on Core Vitals. And we are getting a total blocking time of 340 milliseconds, which, you know, in the grand scheme of things isn't a lot, but if you can knock that down to zero, that's going to make a big difference. And so typically what's really causing this issue is your JavaScript parsing, compiling, and execution, right? You, your JavaScript has to be evaluated, has to be styled and laid out, parsed, script, and then rendered. And so the longer it takes for any of these things to happen, that's what's gonna hold up your main thread work, and it's also going to add to your total blocking time. So typically, depending on how the website is developed, you're going to have certain elements that can add to that blocking time or to that main thread work. What you don't want is your JavaScript codes to slow that down. And so some of those common JavaScript codes are your tracking scripts, right? Do you have any third party tracking scripts on there, uh, such as your Google Tag Managers, uh, HubSpot, any third party codes? So here we, we, you can see Google Tag Manager is one of those things. Uh, we do have another video on using GTAG versus the Google Tag Manager code so definitely check that as well because that can make a big difference and also there's a way to load this even faster as well which we'll get into right now so having um the javascript on your page really optimized is going to make a huge difference so we're going to show you how to go from let's say a 92 or somewhere where you're at where that total blocking time is slowing down your site to taking it right up to 100 where there's literally no blocking time so I'm gonna show you how to do that in two ways, right? The first is with WP Rocket. WP Rocket's one of the probably most popular website page speed optimization plugins around. We personally like them, we've used them for years. However, you have to watch out with WP Rocket because it can increase your text to HTML ratio. I did a video on this as well. If you want more information on that, you can check it out. So what you can do with WP Rocket, and of course, before you make any changes to your website, take a backup. We are not liable for any changes that you make. Um, but if you do want us to help you out, you can reach out to us at any time and for perfect clicks. And so you can minify your CSS, you can optimize your CSS delivery, you can remove your unused CSS. And most importantly here, you can actually combine or even delay your JavaScript execution. Now, unfortunately, if you were to delay that JavaScript execution, it will actually add more characters of HTML to your, to your website page. And so uh, we found that it'll add somewhere around 100,000 characters, depending on your site and everything like that. And so it can really mess with your text to HTML ratio. So what we figured out is that even though WP Rocket can get you all the way there. And if you don't care about your text to HTML ratio, then that's just fine. You can just enable those things and optimize it and you're on your way. The second way to do it 
is to use a plugin called Perf Matters. Now, this is another plugin that will allow you to delay that JavaScript loading. So right here, you can see we have Perf Matters working in conjunction with WP Rocket, and we are just delaying that JavaScript. And so delaying that JavaScript is actually going to help minimize that main thread work, uh, which was a huge difference. And then the other thing that Perf Matters does that WP Rocket does not do currently is that you can enable local analytics. So basically what they'll do is load your JavaScript locally and then make sure that it's updated, you know, I think once every 24 hours or something like that. And so you can have your tracking ID and you just have your analytics uh, lo loaded locally. And so what that does is it takes away that error or the, the calling to Google tag JS, which is again, better than calling out the Google tag manager, two scripts. Now you're down to one, but then you take that one script and you load it locally, um, which is pr pretty fast. So here, I'll just see if I can find it. So as you can see here, you have the JS tag loading here, which can kind of slow down your minimized main thread work. And then if you look here, you actually can't see the JavaScript loading. And that's because it's actually loading to another file that's been condensed and lazy loaded. So you'll hear, you'll see here that this file is um, a JS lazy load. And so uh, that will actually delay those dropper scripts from coming through there. So um, that's a really good way if you can uh, make this work on your site and get WP Rocket to work with Perf Matters. You can enable the Google Analytics local tracking, and then you can also delay that JavaScript from loading. And you can have exclusions and things like that. But if you have those two things, it will help you get to that 100 performance score. And um, just keep in mind, this is a staging site, so that's why this is 66, but the minute it's on the live site, it's good to go. So um, what won't work is if you try prefetch or preloading, it might help. Um, we've tried different caching solutions and things like that, but if you defer or, or delay that JS loading and combine it, it'll stop that thread work from getting uh, blocked or, or to increase that total blocking time, and it will drop that main thread work speed. And so as a result, you will get a much, much higher uh, performance and page speed on your website. And that's the main stuff right there. You can really minimize that thread work just by having the right tools in place. Again, you can do it in two ways. You could use uh, WP Rocket, you can use Perf Matters, you can use one or the other, or you can use a combination. Definitely looking at the needs of your website, the way your theme is built, and then the hosting, of course. The hosting is make a huge impact because your hosting might have cash and things like that. So definitely, if you have questions, reach out to us at info at perfectclicks.com. I'm going to leave the links to our recommended WordPress managed hosting in, in the description below. And I'm also gonna leave you with a few other resources if you guys need anything. But do reach out to us. Um, comments are great, but emails are better. And if you need anything, we look forward to helping you out. If this did help you in any way, please do leave a like and subscribe. It just helps us know that we're doing uh, a good thing for everybody and uh, we keep making more videos that way. So thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.